Hey, hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Let's go over all of the drops that were added this weekend, including today. So there's drops yesterday, drops today. Let's go over them. Okay, first, there was a set added that is the non-color custom version of like the Darth Vader armor that was added uh, a few days ago or last earlier this week, I guess it was added. So you can get this by going to Hyperium. Now it's on your world map. If you don't have it available, there's like a little quest line to get Hyperium. It's right here. You can also just slash join Hyperium. If it's not there on your map, you have to do the whole little quest line to get to Hyperium. I would search that, how to get to Hyperium on uh, YouTube because it would make this video a lot longer because it's like a lot of uh, just running around lore, collecting items and stuff that you have to do to get here in the first place. So once you're here, you're gonna need the uh, card, the VR room access card. So you get this, it's really, really easy to get. You go here, you click on J6's pocket right there, your mouse will change, and boom, you'll get the access card. Now that will give you access to the VR room, of course. Uh, click the middle button on the elevator, click on here. Now there might be quests you have to do. Once you're done those quests, go to Junk in the Trunk. It will say continue, and you'll go to Moonyard B. I think you have to do a quest through Moonyard A first, but once you're at B, uh, there's nothing more to do. You're at the end of your destination. Now these robot dogs will rotate uh, mob places with the other robot guards. The robot guards are what will drop the items. So I'd recommend just going room swapping. So these guards right here, those are the guys that drop the items. Let's go back to my house and check out all of the items. Okay, so there are two different weapons. The single and dual version of these blades. They're not color custom. You can buy the color custom ones in battle on right now if you'd like those. This armor. So pretty cool for free armor. It's actually really nice. I love the red shading on it. The mask with a breathing animation, I would assume. That's red. So <laughs> the, the breath is the same color as your eye, uh, eyes, which doesn't really make any sense. But hey, it looks cool. Two cloaks, you got the Lord Cloak. So looks like that with a running animation. Well, you don't really run very well in this room, but you, you get the picture. And the bigger version right here. So those are all the new drops that are added on Saturday. Let's go over the ones that were added on Friday. The only drops from the event are on the boss. So if you click on Shadow War at the top corner, it'll take you to Shadow Lord Keep. That's where you'll have to start. Uh, then you want to go to Time Stream. Time stream will take you here. Click on um, Shadow Knight, and it'll bring up Shadow Knight Gar right here. And not a lot of health, and he has all the drops. Let's go over the drops. First up is this staff. Pretty cool looking. The boss also drops the dual version of these and the single version of these blades. The Shadowed War Mage, which is an animated armor. You don't see a lot of those, honestly. Uh, there's a little animation on the belt there. Pretty rare to see that on an armor, and I actually do like the armor quite a bit. Two helmets. You got the one without the mask. Got custom hair on it, and the one with the mask. So, also, not a bad helmet. Three different capes. Three. You got the one with the sword. The one with just the scarf. And the one with the staff. So, pretty cool. Okay, an overlooked drop in this update was the epic matchstick. It drops off of the shadow mages. There's a room with two of them to the right there. Recommend farming that one. Uh, it took me a while actually to get it, but it's pretty cool. And I, I'm pretty sure it has a combat animation based on what I saw on Twitter. So yeah, it definitely has a combat animation. Whenever you swing it, it lights on fire. That's actually a pretty cool combat animation. I hope they do more of these kind of animations for attacks with different weapons. It's actually pretty cool and it works pretty well. So there you go. And that that is the last drop. So thanks for watching, guys. A little weird there, a little cut, sorry. <laughs> I will be back on Thursday with a news video unless someone else, something else pops up in between then. Actually, there might be another video during the week, but thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.